Hey guys, this is Comic Inno, and today I'm doing a review for Arrow, Beacon of Hope. Let's start talking about this episode. So here we get to see another Felicity-centric episode, actually, um, because the Bee Lady returns. I don't even know what to call her. We'll call her the Bee Lady. Beth from, <laughs> from The Walking Dead returns. Uh, at first she was on The Flash, now she's on Arrow, and um, she goes into Palmer Tech to try to get what she wants from Felicity, which is the chip that's in Felicity's spine. And we find out that she has cancer, and she could kind of go in the same situation as Felicity, uh, because if she gets surgery, she will be permanently paralyzed. So Felicity, you know, obviously feels for the character, but at the same time, Thea's like, hey, there's a gun in our face right now, let's not trust her. Uh, but Felicity actually saves the day and uh, she's able to defeat the Bee Lady with the help of Green Arrow and the rest of the team and Mr. Terrific, which was great. Um, and we see that Felicity doesn't want to join the team still, but she wants to be kind of a beacon of hope for Palmer Check. Um, other uh, B story, C story is that Curtis does find out about the Arrow team, so he's helping out the team. And then also we get to see Oliver dealing with his relationship stuff, and actually Laurel helping um, helping him through with that. Uh, and the big cliffhanger of the episode is that uh, John Diggle's uh, brother is part of the whole Hive, Damien Dark, Merlin plot that we'll see uh, a little bit more in next week's episode, which actually there's not a hiatus until um, after that episode, because that will be the grave ep episode, most likely. Uh, and then, of course, we have a hiatus for um, more weeks. So, um, what did I think of the episode? Um, you know, there's definitely aspects I liked about it. I liked that it was more of a teamwork episode in the beginning. Um, I really do think the season has done a good job at doing most of the, of the team having good chemistry, um, you know, not including the whole Felicity drama, but I really like the Laurel, Diggle, and Thea dynamic in the beginning, but uh, I also really like Thea and Felicity actually hanging out with each other and having a whole episode with having many scenes with each other, because I, I remember a time when it was like, oh, why don't Thea and Felicity never talk? So it's kind of cool to see that I want to say sister, sisterly kind of relationship that has been building throughout the season grow even more in this episode. But the negative towards that is that um, Thea didn't really do much in the episode. Um, I feel like she was very much used as a plot device in different ways, that she was just kind of there, stuck with everybody, but she got thrown at a table. Other than that, she didn't really use any of her speedy skills that I thought she could use. Uh, and then, you know, you have kind of the, I don't want to say unrealistic um, thing, that Felicity is the one to save the day again. Like, I feel like we just had a Felicity episode, um, so it's weird to have another one like this. Um, I would like other episodes to center other, with other characters, but I think that'll be next episode. It looks like it's gonna be a Diggle and Thea episode, which I'm happy to see, uh, which we'll talk about that. Um, so, as you know, I don't love the drama with Oliver and Felicity, but I'm glad that this episode didn't totally focus on that because it was those characters being in different rooms kind of dealing with their own situations. So that's something I liked. What did I, did I like the villain? Did I like, <laughs> did I like her? Um, the puns were way over the top. I, I knew what they were going for and I guess it made it fun. Um, and I think that's the best way to explain this episode. It's a very fun episode. There's a lot of plot holes. Uh, one being that the Bee Lady even escaped. Like, you don't get internet in jail. I, don't know why they would add that, but sure, internet and jail. Um, so there are a ton of plot holes like that, and, you know, uh, having Curtis go down to the lair so easily. Um, but if you look over <laughs> those kind of story points, um, there was a lot of fun character moments that I enjoyed. Um, I will say Diggle, would, Diggle was a little sidelined in this episode, could have seen more of him, but I thought Laurel had some really good moments uh, with Oliver. Obviously, Curtis had some amazing uh, moments here, and Thea and Felicity had some good moments, too. Uh, so overall, um, it was less, I mean, it's still a filler, but I it was less boring than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a very boring filler, but it was actually a really fun filler, I would say. Um, there's a lot of interesting points, and it looks like next week, obviously, is going to be the huge episode of The Grave, and I'm really excited to see the sibling war type thing, where uh, John Diggle is not going to know what to do with his brother. And then you also see some Malcolm Thea um, fighting there, and, and Thea trying to protect her family and her team uh, and going against Malcolm. Really excited about that. The protege and uh, the student, well, the student and the teacher fighting. Uh, I, I love that. So I'm really excited for those Thea and John Diggle moments. And uh, we'll have to see what happens next week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter.
Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, uh, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.